Hi, I'm Dr. Gail Gross, and today begins our series of podcasts on stress and post-traumatic stress disorder. Although the human brain has evolved over hundreds of thousands of years into the complex brain that we now have, like the simplest of animals, a part of our brain still is activated by what is interpreted as threats coming from the world in what we call the flight or fight response. The fundamental decision-making process of all animal life forms is to enhance survival chances, which involves an assessment of staying to fight off the threat or of running away from the threat to find safety. In either, either case, a perceived threat stimulates the body to activate micro and macro body responses to be able to take on either task by increasing the heart rate, blood pressure, white blood cells in case of infection if you are in a fight and get injured, and so forth. As humans evolved both biologically and socially, the brain grew into a more complex organ with the development of many more aptitudes besides survival against life threats by choosing between flight or fight in the untamed wild. In time, threats were less about life and death survival and more about threats regarding finding a safe place within the complex social systems with many more possible responses besides the fight or flight response. However, the simple brain experienced fear from life threat and from intersocial threat as the same and issued the same biological response of fight and flight, no matter the source of that fear. When we feel social embarrassment, shame, rejection, attack, we may want to defend ourselves, a modern version of fight. But we don't use up the adrenaline by fighting. Or we may want to slip away and become invisible to the source of our discomfort, a modern version of flight. But use the stirred up biological stimulus to run and we, and we don't escape. As our more complex thinking systems become reflective and self-reflective, we can become our own threat as we attack ourselves, and we can feel as if we can't defend ourselves from the attacking part of ourselves. We have assimilated external threats into our, ourselves and have become our own enemy. The more evolved logical brain suppresses the fight and flight stimulus of the lower brain, but left unresolved and unreleased are all the biological responses intended to support fleeing or fighting. These remain in the body and produce a secondary threat to the body. But now that threat is from the inside, something we can't fight and win or escape in any traditional way. We are left with escalating blood pressure, a speeding heart, a compromised immune system. So this is the first in our podcasts. I will continue on with the next podcast, and I'm going to run them close together so that one leads into the other. I hope you like them, and I hope they help. Thank you.